Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're making corn pie. No, this is not your mom's traditional corn pie. This one is jazzed up. So let's jump into this recipe. Let me show you how easy this one is to make. You all are going to love it. And it's packed with hidden ingredients that's very nutritious for your kids. We're going to start off in a skillet. This is my Our Place pan. And I'll link it for you all if you want to purchase this exact pan. We're adding in golden ray or you can use butter and some avocado oil. Allow that to melt. And the golden ray is totally optional guys. You don't have to use it. Just use butter in place. And in goes all of the ingredients that you see listed on your screen. And of course the ingredients are also listed in the description box. I'm adding in plenty of veggies to this. Now I like to saute the veggies because it brings out more flavor in the pie. But if you wanted to add everything to one bowl, mix and then bake, of course you can do that. This is just a step that I love doing. So we season with salt and let that sweat until it starts to turn tender. And I forgot to add in my minced garlic, so I'll add that in now. And allow this to continue to cook until the veggies are tender. We're going to be mixing everything in this pot so you don't have to worry about it dirtying another bowl and you can also bake it in this pot or pan now once the veggies are tender we're gonna add in a half a cup of corn and two cups of chopped spinach you can use fresh cut corn for this if you have and if you want to use bhaji in place of the spinach or dashing bush you can it goes one tablespoon of green seasoning and we're going to mix that to combine. You just want to cook this for about a minute until the spinach leaves start wilting. You're going to season with one teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning where you can use complete seasoning. Mix that in. You want your this first mixture to be a little heavily salted because when you add the corn and the cream corn the cornmeal it's going to absorb that salt and we went in with a can of creamed corn a can of evaporated milk in goes two eggs beaten if you wanted to omit the eggs of course you can you just put extra cheese when you're making this recipe Mix that in and remember you don't want to do this when your mixture is very very hot because it can curdle the eggs. In goes fine cornmeal. I'm adding some. I'll give that a mix. Let it incorporate and then I'll add the rest. I just didn't want it to become lumpy so that's why I'm doing it in two parts mix that in now if you notice if you're mixing this and your mixture is very very thick you'll want to add in some more milk and you can use whole milk or evaporated in goes a cup of cheese and we're going to mix that to combine now once you mix in the cheese we're going to add in some more creaminess with some coconut milk powder or you can use can coconut or fresh coconut milk if you have and we're going to mix that in once it's mixed in properly you can taste the butter and check to see if you need to add or adjust your salt well you can't take away salt but you'll need to add if you need to you can do it at this point now I'm gonna crush up some Ritz or Dixie biscuit crackers this is going to give it a really nice crunchy top and I use this on macaroni pie also and I have an updated macaroni pie recipe coming up really soon. So with that Ritz crackers, it's oh so buttery and delicious. So you want to empty that mixture into your pan or your casserole dish or your baking dish, spread it out evenly and it bakes at 350 degrees for 45 minutes. We're going to top it with cheese and that Ritz cracker or Dixie biscuit. It's a really buttery, delicious cookie or cracker. So sprinkle as much or as little as you want and then it goes to bake. 
350 for 45 minutes or until it's brown and bubbly. Once it's done, you want to allow it to cool down completely before cutting into it. If you try cutting into it too soon, it will fall apart on you. And you simply enjoy. This was really great with like baked chicken, or barbecue chicken, even stew chicken. It's so, so yummy and so many veggies hidden in there that the kids can eat. So guys, I hope you all enjoyed today's recipe. If you wanted it a little more on the softer side, add more milk. If you want it like mine's really nice and together, follow the recipe exactly. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're new to my channel, I hope you subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone.